And welcome back. Well, spring baseball in the Dakotas is always interesting due to this unpredictable weather. But one player at Minot High School is experiencing it for the first time, and he likes it. Varsity Sports Now correspondent Kyle Patterson introduces us to Dimitri Zafra. Snowfall, cold temperatures, and wind chills have made Minot High baseball get off to a slow start this year. Coach Pete Stenberg says it's been difficult not to get a game under their belt, but they have been busy throughout the season. We're trying to change up our, our schedule a little bit. Uh, we're doing some weightlifting activities twice a week, uh, doing batting cage practice. Uh, we're able to get up here in the Minot State University Dome uh, you know, probably four times out of the five during the week. There is one team member that has additional difficulty adjusting to the weather. I just want to play baseball. Junior pitcher Dimitri Zafra recently moved to Mina from Naples, Florida with his parents for the motel business boom in the area. The length of the baseball season is one difference that he noticed. Florida, I played about 10 to 11 months and I got a month off. That was the start of school to get situated and everything. That won't stop him from playing at his best. Way to keep it low, baby. Well, Dimitri comes in and he's going to throw strikes. Uh, we haven't seen him against live hitting yet. Uh, we've done some stuff in the cage, but he's throwing 84 to 86. Uh, keeps the ball down and he changes speeds very well. His changeup is about almost 18 miles an hour different compared to his fastball. And, uh, that's a pretty tough pitch to hit when you're throwing a fastball at 86 miles an hour. From his old high school in Palm Meadow Ridge in Florida to now in Minot High, Dimitri enjoys the weather and also the baseball program. A nice pitch, ground. I found it no big deal. I actually like the cold weather better because the hot, it's, you, I get tired faster and up here my stamina is going to stay a lot longer. I like the Minot program a lot better because uh, yeah, I, like the, I like the players. They're really good. I like them, they have good team chemistry, uh, just, just better high school. With a good foot of snow on Corbett Field yet, where the Magicians play their home games, they don't expect their first game until the end of April. That doesn't stop Dimitri ready to prove his critics wrong. I've been getting a lot of critics up here about me not doing really well up here because of the weather, and I really want to kind of prove the other, other schools that I'm going to be a big threat this year and I'm going to help him win a state championship. Hopefully in a few weeks, Dimitri and the Minot Magicians can start playing some baseball. Reporting for Midco Sports Network, I'm Kyle Patterson. All right, Jason, let's talk a little bit about Dimitri Zafra. Obviously, you hear uh, the, the pitch selection that he's got, the speeds he can bring it, the change of change of speed that he can keep hitters off balance with. That's obviously pretty impressive for, for a high school pitcher to be to be able to decrease his velocity by that much, much from one pitch to another. Yeah, but uh, overall, I mean, stands to reason he's going to have a pretty significant impact for the Magicians. Yeah, he's just a, a junior as well, and he hasn't got as much throwing in. He's used to throwing, like you said in the piece, 10 to 11 months a year. Yeah, right. So coming here, he's going to have to get some work inside. Mm -hmm. But he had committed to Virginia early on as a pitcher and has decommitted because he wants to go somewhere closer to his family. So it's looking like North Dakota's in the conversation for college ball for Dimitri Zafra. Just just an unbelievable a guy who can put the heat down the middle and uh, take the changeup off so much off of it and still with a good arm angle. That's that's good stuff. And if you if you take a consideration the, the circumstances right now in North Dakota with with the oil boom in Williston, Minot area obviously affected by that as well. His his family is involved in the hotel industry. That's why they came uh, to Minot, but uh, you know that part of the country stands to benefit athletically when you're getting transplants like like a guy like Dimitri Zafra coming in and helping out your team. Yeah, just population alone, we're going to see a big boom, but we're going to see a lot of players from the South, from Texas, from uh, Florida, like Dimitri is uh, coming into this area. It's going to be interesting to see how they meld into these teams that have grown up in North Dakota, mm -hmm. how they can get some playing time, how they fit into it. Um, it's going to be interesting, especially over the next few years when we see some of these middle school and uh, grade school right. kids come up through the system. And so a lot, a lot of uh, talent to pick from. Well, it's not like it's just baseball either. You're going to see this uh, impact in, in football, basketball, and the like. So, uh, you know, a, a reason to be excited if you're from that part of North Dakota and the way you could benefit from that oil boom. But uh, as we move on, Jandy approved top plays. We want to talk about it again, again, we have none for you. Uh, it's not because you're not contributing. It's because <laughs> nobody's contributing because of the weather. So uh, hashtag Jandy approved. Uh, we want to see the best that you've got. If you shoot them yourself, you're, uh, please feel free to send them in. Uh, and, and again, you can always contact us through the website. Send us a link that way too. 
Uh, but certainly we're looking forward to getting on the field and getting I think some Jandy-approved top plays, next right? Week. We'll definitely have some plays uh, to approve next week. Remains to be seen. <laughs> well, coming up, all of this inactivity has Andera's power rankings frozen solid, but he thinks a handful of teams outside the top five could heat up once they finally get on the field. More on that when we come back.